Hello there, everyone. Okay, so when you're fasting, uh, you know, it's important to uh, rest and, uh, you know, basically take care of yourself. But uh, my habit, I tend to like to go for a prayer walk. And so, uh, you know, so that's basically what I end up doing on, uh, you know, day one of a uh, fast. I'll go for a prayer walk and uh, you know Jesus said uh, that his disciples would fast and so uh, you know it's important that we uh, take time not only to pray but to fast at certain times I mean there are times when we just need to, to uh, you know when we need to be uh, you know, at prayer and spend time in fasting and, uh, you know, it might be an emergency situation that we have in our own personal lives. It might be an emergency situation happening in, uh, you know, our neighborhood or with our church assembly, but it also could be a, you know, emergency situation happening in our local community or in our nation for that matter. So it's really important that we uh, do take time to both fast and pray. And Jesus also said that some things do not come out except by fasting and prayer. You know, sometimes the breakthroughs that we need only come when we fast as well as pray. And so it's really important that we, uh, you know, take time to, to uh, you know, to, to, to fast and to pray. But also, you know, if you read in the book of Acts, you find that when Peter got thrown into prison, that the disciples fasted and they prayed. How long they fasted for and how long they were praying for, the Bible doesn't say. It doesn't say in Acts. But we read in Esther that, you know, Queen Esther fasted for three days and she neither ate nor drank anything, not nothing. I mean, she didn't eat or drink. And all of God's people in that area also fasted and prayed. They did not eat or drink. They did a dry fast, a total, complete, utter fast, and they spent time in fasting and praying. And, just, and, my, and it was mainly fasting. You know, they, they fasted and they mourned before the Lord and they did pray. And so fasting and prayer is important. So, you know, it's, it's nice. And for me, I'm going for a prayer walk and, uh, you know, I'm just going to, you know, go for a prayer walk and enjoy that walk. Um, but it's not going to be a huge, long walk. I mean, I'm not going to go for miles. Okay, I am fasting. So while it's not recommended to go uh, walking, um, I'm doing a water fast. So, you know, I'm going to go for a short walk. And while I am walking, I'm going to pray. Okay, so I'm just going to go and do a prayer walk. Okay, and so uh, in any case, you know, otherwise, find yourself a nice quiet corner of the world, you know, a park or, you know, or out your backyard or wherever, um, just someplace quiet where you can spend time in prayer while you're fasting. In any case, you have a really great day. God bless. Wish you well. And uh, here it's nice and sunny, <laughs> as you can see in the background. So have a great day. Wish you well. And uh, I'm going to put more updates. This was the third uh, video that I'm doing. And uh, so thank you very much. You have a really wonderful day. And God bless. Bye.